And a lot of people were late this uh, to work this morning because of this nightmare for drivers on the Loop 202 in the East Valley near 32nd Street around 8 o'clock this morning. Traffic was backed up for miles after a Valley plumbing contractor fired several shots at an alleged carjacker. Chadless Swear thought that he was helping a woman and her husband who needed a push on the side of the road. Little did he know that he was actually stepping into a trap. And when he got out of his truck, he found himself fighting for his life. Team 12's Mike Gonzalez has more on the wild turn of events and why LeSeer says he's more convinced than ever that packing a gun is the right thing to do. Mike? Hey, good evening, Mark and Kariva. Yeah, this was a crazy story. Chad LeSeer says everything happened so fast, and when he started fighting with this guy, who he says was trying to steal his truck, his immediate instinct was to grab his gun on the driver's side door panel. He told 12 News he's still trying to digest exactly what what happened. I could never be more like sure of why I carry now than what happened to me today. For Chad Lesweer, this morning's crazy drama was something he was ready for. It's their Second Amendment right, and so I think we, we should be able to carry, and this is a perfect example of, of why. The plumbing contractor was headed to Goodyear when he pulled off Loop 202 near 32nd Street to help a woman and a man Lesweer thought was having car trouble. That's when things quickly changed. As soon as he got, gets up to me, he just pushes me and jumps in the truck. LeSueur quickly realized the guy had been trying to carjack that woman. So we start fighting and I'm punching him, he's punching me and he's kicking the door and trying to get me off. And in the meantime, I reach down in the door because I keep my gun down there. I pulled my gun out and I stuck it right in his face and I said, get out of my blinking truck right now. I'm going to blow your head off. And he was like, yeah, but he was still kicking and fighting. And so my, my instinct was was to shoot him, but I, I, I didn't do it because I, I didn't feel like at that point it was justified. But when the man came barreling towards LeSueur, that's when he opened fire. He took off, and I so I went flying out of the truck, and the trailer came around, and it was about to hit me, and I, I think he was trying to hit me, so I pulled the gun out, and I, I fired four rounds. And you can see the bolt holes in the side of the truck. He got away with LeSueur's work truck, but was eventually caught in Chandler near Willis and Cooper Roads after being tracked with the truck's OnStar system. Now LeSueur is dealing with the aftermath, a wrecked front end, strange messages the man drew with LeSueur's markers, and a lot of work to clean up the mess. I don't know how he wrecked the truck, the front end, he smashed it into something. But despite the morning he had, Chad LeSueur says he's in good spirits and glad no one got hurt. I actually feel pretty calm. I, I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm glad I didn't kill him. You know, I mean, maybe he'll get his life in order. I don't know. That's that's between him and God. But, um, you know, it would have been a justifiable shooting. Well, the Loop 202 was closed for about 50 minutes because of all this. At this point, the man who stole LeSueur's truck hasn't been identified, but he's going to face a slew of charges. As for LeSueur, he says he will use his son's truck until his vehicle is fixed, and he'll start back work tomorrow, guys. All right. Thanks.